This video is about indexing. A lot of what I'm going to talk about in these videos is on the Ornamental Turning Book of Knowledge website, and a link to that site is in the comments. So this is my indexing wheel here. I got mine from Alisom. Uh, it's made out of aluminum and not plastic, and I really like that better. It's 7 inches in diameter, which is sufficient for this, and it has holes all the way around the outside that are every 5 degrees apart, and the inner holes are every 18 degrees apart, but I don't really use the inner holes. I had to fit it on mine between the drive wheel you see here on the back side and the main pulley flange which is here and to do that I had to drill holes in it uh, where the screws that hold the flange onto the main pulley need to go through. They don't have to be exact because frankly the tension holds it in place and they have a uh, one inch hole so it's going to be centered so the holes really are just to allow the screws to pass. Okay, the indexing pin is this right here. It inserts into the holes here, or any of the holes actually. And it's held into a piece, of a block that I had to make that's made of two pieces of MDF um, wood. And then this has the screws, you can see on the back here, that fit into the T-channel on the top of the lathe, and I'll show that to you in a minute. This is just a piece of uh, steel rod that I had, and I just threaded it on the end, turned it down <coughs> to have a, a pin that would fit into the holes here and the nut is on the screwed part which just holds the spring in so that uh, I can use that for indexing okay so not much to this let me reassemble everything and I'll show you what it looks like in place okay so now you see the piece at the top the mounting block that has the pin and it's indexed there and it's uh, into the hole for the indexing plate Here's the interesting thing. With the stepper motor control that I have, you can actually do this with the software. So I'm going to show you an easier way to do this with the stepper motor design that was given to me by the team out in Washington. Okay, this is the beauty of what those people out west did. They designed this stepper motor controls to allow indexing at the same time. So what you see here is that I'm at index zero. I want to do this every 10 degrees. So it's quite easy. I just set it for 10 and say go. 20, 30, or I can go backwards. It's easy enough to change. If I wanted this to be 20 degrees, now I can do the same thing. Sometimes I don't want to think about the math here. I could say I want say 35 divisions so let's do that which is going to be 10 something degrees so this is a beautiful process beautiful easy way to do indexing and it's a whole lot easier because you don't have to really make anything once you get the stepper motor installed and get it up and running you're good to go I hope this has been a good overview on indexing for you, and I hope this has been worth your time. Thank you. Have a great day.